Hi, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to test the coil of the uh, Solex and the condensator. Um, so this is a starter plate. Uh, we're going to take these parts off so we can uh, do the measuring, the reading of them. It's uh, really simple. Just need a voltmeter like this one you can measure ohm. Um, and then we can uh, we can test if uh, if these are good. So let me just take these off. Then I'm going to show you how to do it. Now we have taken off the ignition coil, the lightning coil, and the condensator from the from the starter plate here. Um, we're going to do two readings on this one. So there's a primary reading, which is between this one here and this one, where we should see between 0 0.8 and 1.5 ohm. Okay. Then there's the secondary reading, which is between this one here and this contact point here. This contact point is the one that is uh, that is uh, that is in contact with your uh, spark plug cable, and on that reading we should see between two and three k ohm, so two to three thousand ohm. So to start the to to start with, the first measure we're going to do is the primary contact point. So we're going to put this one at 200 ohm, and then we're going to see what it's going to do. Put the minus here, and the positive here, and we see a reading of 1.5, 1.4 uh, ohm. So that's good. Now we're going to flip it over, and if we do the same measure here, then we're not going to see anything here because we are only measuring up to 200 ohm. So we're going to put this one to 20k. We're going to try to do the same measure, and we see a reading of 2.5 which is uh, right in the middle of uh, what it should be. So it should be two to three K ohm for this one. So we can conclude the ignition coil for the Solex is in good shape. Um, before measuring, I cleaned all the contact point. Um, I'll do the same for, for the other, just to make sure that there's good contact when we uh, mount it back again. Um, so next is we're gonna measure the lightning coil. The next reading we're going to do is the lightning coil for the Solex. So it only have uh, this and this as contact point we need to measure. And we want to see a reading between 1.5 and 3 ohms when we measure it. Here we see 1.9, which, uh, which is a good read. So we can conclude that the lightning coil is, uh, is also in good condition. Um, the last thing we're going to test is this uh, capacitor. Um, I'm going to show you in a second when I put this one back on my starter plate. So now we are ready to test the capacitor or the condensator. Um, we put the voltmeter on a 20 m ohm. So that's where the, the needle here and uh, and also the display is going to change um, as slow as, uh, as possible on this one. If you have a possible for, for even higher or, or reading, put it, uh, put it there eventually. Um, we're going to start by putting the minus on the side of the capacitor and the red one on the top of it and as you can see the needle moves nice and steady upwards the numbers change um, a few uh, numbers at a time um, really nice reading this is what you want to see in your capacitor Re remove these two we switch them so we put the red on the side and the minus on the top and you will see now it counts downwards, the needle moves downwards uh, in a nice, steady uh, uh, manner. So this is a good reading for a capacitor for, uh, for your Solex. If this is uh, similar to what you see when you measure yours, then the capacitor uh, you have is good. If either the needle don't move or it jumps a lot up and down, then it's a faulty uh, capacitor and uh, you'll need to, to change it to uh, make it, uh, make it work. I'm going to put this one back and then we are finished with the with the starting plate here. We have measured all the three electrical components. They are all good. So this can be uh, can be used when I rebuild um, my next Solex. Thank you for watching my video. Please put a comment below. Give it a like if you like it and uh, hope to see you next time. Thank you.